All right, all right, all right, YouTubes. We got a call for a walk-in box down. Let's grab tippins and some gloves and see what's going on with this thing. And see if we can figure out what's broken. Okay, I found that, um, I didn't show you guys, but I found the thermostat inside. Fingers had been touching buttons and it was, it was set in heat mode. It was way off, so I got the thermostat reset. This thing's calling for cooling. Let's check out our condensing unit. And I'm gonna take the lid off. I think it'll be a lot easier to work on this with the lid off. So the box is at 58 degrees right now. But we should be able to get a good look at this thing. Screws in the rack. Okay, let me lift this out of there. All right, here's our unit. Both condenser fans are running. It's got some good heat protection. like it out here. Alright, control section a little crusty. Kind of got a stain on the receiver there. That's kind of interesting. I might break the H10 out on that. It is a little interesting stain right there. See that stain? Maybe this cap's leaking. box pull down since it was so warm it was 58 degrees um, checking the contacts they don't look bad at all we're only using two out of the three legs I don't see any discoloration or anything we'll let it pull down and we'll check our micro ferrets on our caps and get those cleaned up and get this area tidied up a little bit more I got it a little bit cleaned up We'll run a pump down check, check our pressure switch. Check our start cap. We're in spec, we're good. And we're gonna check our run cap. This was a 40 slash five, so, so someone needed a 40 microfarad and put it on here. What's our start? Our start rating was 145 to 174. I'm reading through the resistor on there. That's what I was reading. We're checking our run cap. We got 37. It's supposed to be a 40. I think we're close enough though. What's our percentage default on this one? 5%. Maybe not. I had another one on the truck. And this one's reading 39.9. That's a lot better. This was out of spec by one. So let's put this one in there. So we got the run cap replaced, everything's secured. Star cap checks out good. Uh, let's see what else. This used to be a freezer I found out and they're using it as a walk-in cooler. It's 404A. Contactor looks good. Start components I'm good with. 
Um, I honestly think uh, it has the thermostat with defrost, and I think when it goes into defrost, they see the readings weird. And uh, then they think the box is acting up, and they push buttons and get it all screwed up. I'm going to try and see if there's a setting for when it goes into defrost, if it will just show the last temperature reading while it's in defrost. It'll show the countdown by default. So you'll see 30 minutes, you'll see 30, 29, 28, 27, and they think it's the temperature of the box. And I think that's what's happening. Box is dropping. Nice. I got 15. is right in there with the two condenser fan motors and the compressor. Thank God the compressor finally died on that Charleston. Now it's out of my fucking hair. That thing's that thing goes back to when I was in high school. Adios. I told him to buy Natosa. NorCal refrigeration in HVAC. <laughs> Remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. <laughs> right, all right, all right, YouTube's got a call for a three door freezer, not freezing. Five. I guess they said they've had other people work on it, so they want to give me a try. I think the, uh, let's see what we got going here. 18 ounces, 404. Let's run the serial number and see how old this thing is. All right, this one's at the nine year mark. Nine years old. Screws out for the cover, they're already out. All the screws are out. Pull this off, we'll take a look at the condensing unit. I got the cover off, a little bit of dirt, don't feel a lot of heat. We got a major discrepancy in the temperatures. That's showing minus two, that's showing us 20 degrees. Hmm, that's not good. Let's, uh, I'll get this in there and we'll check a temp. This too. I'm gonna leave that in there and then we'll check it here in a minute. Let's go through some of the basics. I wanna make sure both condenser fans are working. Not like, not like super bad. Mm. I'm thinking it's low on charge. I am not feeling a ton of heat on the return bins. It's had taps on it before, look. Oh yeah. See if I can 
can't slide this condensing unit out without breaking stuff. Both condenser fans, and we do have some line taps on this one. So we can gauge up on it and see what it looks like. I'm thinking it's low on charge myself. I might grab the H10 and do some sniffing. Let me go see where this is plugged in at. All right, got gauged up on it. It's looking like it's low on me. That's too low in a, of an evaporator temperature, minus 31. So the only way, really be sure if, if it's restricted cap tube or low on charge, I'm gonna have to recover the gas out of it. We could weigh the charge out as we recover it. Coil's not iced up, so. That's what it's looking like to me. All right, got the recovery hooked up. I'm gonna get it from the high side. This hits the start button. We're zeroed out. Turn the tank open. Wiggy on me. They're, they're starting to get goofy. All right. And with the first one, look, we got the full charge. I think we got a restricted cap tube. Unit ended up getting a new cap tube, three new sensors, and two evaporator fan motors. That's better than a leak, honestly. Thank you.